Hello guys, it's One Piece Day again. Welcome to my channel, and let's talk about One Piece Manga Chapter, 1045, the next level, in the previous chapter, we saw the reveal leading to Luffy's new powers. Meanwhile, Luffy is not at his full potential yet, the form he is in is called his Gear 5. While Luffy's new form has changed his appearance somewhat, the form has made the Straw Hat Captain more powerful than ever. We witnessed this when Luffy beat up Kaido in his dragon form, completely decimating Kaido with his abilities. But before anything else, please click the bell, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Animajack. Thank you. One Piece Chapter 1045 begins its story on the Skull Dome rooftop, exactly where the previous issue left off. Kaido began by saying that he thought Luffy had really died, to which the latter agrees and says he thought so as well. The Yonko begins commenting how his opponent's fruit is very strange. Its environment affecting properties indicate a Paramecia awakening, yet the transformative form he's currently in is indicative of a Zoan type. Luffy doesn't seem to be paying much attention to this, simply floating in the air and relaxing. Kaido takes the opportunity to launch a sneak attack and bite down on him. However, he stops resisting and lets himself be swallowed, but transforms his body so he can slither in a zigzag pattern and hurt his opponent from the inside. Upon reaching Kaido's midsection, Luffy stops and uses Gum Gum Balloon to blow up to a massive size inside his opponent's body. This elicits a very painful reaction from Kaido, just as Momonosuke and Yamato arrive at the rooftop. The two are extremely confused, questioning how he became so large. Kaido comments that his body is like rubber now, followed by Luffy exclaiming that he sees two lights. The latter's arms then emerge from the dragon's eyes and grab his nose. He then uses a gum gum escape rocket to launch through Kaido's eyes and out of his body, still in his huge balloon form. Luffy laughs and then begins blowing the air out of his mouth, launching him up into the sky before preparing for another attack. This one is called Gum Gum Giant, and he grows to a massive size with his regular body proportions. See his face in awakened Nika form for the first time very clearly, before he brings his massive, towering foot down over Kaido. Momonosuke questions who that could be, saying that Luffy's voice is coming from that person. He questions if it really can be the Straw Hat Captain. Out of the blue, Kaido bites his opponent from the side, causing a painful reaction. In response, the now gigantic Luffy grabs Kaido's horns in one hand, and tail in the other. Luffy begins using him like a jump rope, calling the move Gum Gum Jump Rope. He swings Kaido around in jump rope, as the two crash back down to the rooftop. He's able to land a burrow breath before they crash, however, resulting in a point-blank blast. Yamato exclaims in shock that it hit properly, revealing Luffy to be completely blackened from the ash before shaking it off. Luffy revs up like the Roadrunner and launches himself back to a Nagashima. This, apparently, leaves a trail of smoke and fire behind him as he rockets downward. He then confronts Kaido in his hybrid form, preparing a new move before being interrupted by a conqueror of three worlds, Ragnaraku. Luffy's head is blasted through the rooftop and onto the live floor, 
where his eyes and tongue pop out of his head. This face terrifies all the beast pirates present, yet it seems to elicit similar reactions from Nami, Otama, Kid, Law, and Chopper. Luffy then whips his head back up to the rooftop through the hole, where it sharply snaps back to his body, causing him to fall over. Kaido comments on how his opponent's behavior and powers remind him of an picture book. Kaido tells Luffy he's put on a spectacular show as the latter reels in pain. He continues, saying he's clearly reached his limit and cannot take him down. Luffy with a determined look, telling Kaido to shut up and brushes off his claims. Yet as he says this, his awakened Nika features begin disappearing, returning his hair to black. Furthermore, his face shrivels up and droops as if he's aged years in seconds. He then drops to his knees, expressing his exhaustion. An irritated Kaido asks who the hell he is, before also taking a knee and showing signs of exhaustion for the first time in the Wano arc. As it clearly shows that Luffy is succeeding in wearing his opponent down. Luffy continues, saying he almost died and that this battle is insanely exhausting. Kaido responds that he can die without worries since someone will surely pass on the story of him and his friends fight. Luffy retorts, however, that he doesn't need anything like that, since all that's left when people die are their bones. Then shows Yamato and Momonosuke, where the former realizes that it really was Luffy, just with a different appearance. The latter, however, comments on how his voice is disappearing, referencing the aspect of his soul which he can hear with the voice of all things. Showing he's not done yet, Luffy gets back up with his hand on the ground, matching the iconic gear second pose. Steam emanates from his body as he says it's not over yet, saying the names of Momo, Otama, Kinnaman, and Pedro in a motivational way. Kaido points out that his opponent will die like this, with a smile on his face. Luffy emits Conqueror's hacky lightning in response, saying it doesn't scare him before telling his heartbeat to rise. Kaido raises his Kanabo, saying bring it on. Luffy, however, doesn't even notice this, and instead dances happily to the drums of liberation while commenting how that sound has arrived. Yamato tells him to watch out. Kaido's Kanabo approaches, and wraps his head around it as it hits him. His head then conforms to its shape, as if the Kanabo was pressed into a very malleable substance. Yamato looks shocked as Luffy begins running around. His head is still in the Kanabo's shape as he complains that the attack hurts. Kaido responds by swinging the Kanabo down once more, this time with Conqueror's hacky coating. This drives Luffy to the ground, which has now become like rubber instead of rock. The ground absorbs and is pushed back by the force of the blow, before rebounding and sending Luffy flying into the air. His body is now pressed like an accordion from the attack, as he somersaults through the air to a large boulder nearby. He then bends his knees and counts down from three as his face returns to the Nika form. The boulder has been turned into rubber, while Luffy built up tension in his legs, allowing him to bounce off it like a trampoline. This gives him tremendous force, with a smoke trail even coming from behind him and Conqueror's hacky lightning also present. He begins spinning his arms rapidly like a gum gum pinwheel, but with speed similar to gum gum gatling. Kaido wonders to himself who Luffy could possibly be, as he's doing things he never thought possible. 
he specifically points out how much freedom he has in battle, saying he's never seen anything like it before. Kaido continues stating that the person to take him down doesn't exist. He swings his kanabo, coated with conqueror's haki, but Luffy's arms go around it, presumably deflecting or stopping it. Luffy's massive fist goes through Kaido's face and out the back of his head, with the attack coated in Conqueror's Haki. Yamato and Momonosuke look shocked as Kaido goes flying while Luffy's fist returns to him. Luffy seems delighted with the fight and expresses so with a smile on his face. That's all for today Animaniacs, thanks for watching, see you again next time for another One Piece episode. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for weekly updates. Thank <laughs> you.